baby. Oui. Oh, this Snoop Dio double jizzle. And this his house quake bursting like a bubble. Call me Jen and Juice, we getting loose in this. Producing the truth. Stay 504 with Snoop. Bringing it back quick with the double flow. So cold in the Chevrolet with the rose gold rims. Cruising down the 404. Cause we drop it like it's hot, nephew. We on a spot, homie. We on a clock, hickory dickory dock. And it don't ever stop. Cause we don't ever Young, wild, and free. We on that Mac and Devon. Snoop in a Kush coma. I swear to God, I'm not lying. No denying. We bring in the fire and the crime. And by the way, if you didn't get it, that's a Snoop lion. Reference. I need 504 fingers to count all my blessings. You better watch the bass if you want to get the stepping. No guitars, no violins. Don't test us if you don't want no violins. No silence. Better give the applause. If Davey wasn't in a committed relationship, he'd have menage a trois. Busy kicking back, eating oranges. Turn the door hinge of the foreign whips to business. Don't get slick unless you wanna get the Davey 504 stick All your shots miss when you diss the my Ricks Cause a gift like the Travis Scott burger is lit We don't ever stop Sipping on the gin and juice Hearts up down our truck Can never get enough, get loose Hey, fame on the money Do it for the honeys It's all the same on me But we don't ever stop Cause we untrending, we men in the bridge between YouTube bass and rap. All the fire and the flames, boy, we bringing that. Herman Lee can still kiss my ass. Call me the master finger blaster, make me speed racing. Cause my rap goes faster than anything you've ever crafted. I'm just grazing the passion while I'm lipping and sipping and pimping. Ripping and dipping and tripping. Slithering, slithering and missing the missions. Making a killer, stacking the millions. In the pavilion, yo, this feeling so familiar to the very end. We don't ever stop. These rhymes sicker than a cop the flu. I blew your mom for ten dollars. These rhymes are pollen. Rap game filthy, next level descending, repentant, relentless, unforgivable. Sentences they ask me how you rap like this. Anyone can, so all you gotta do is practice it. You should have heard me a year ago. It was really bad. Trust me, trust me. Seriously, my raps were really, really bad. <laughs> I rank down to plat three division four R. Ah. <laughs> Dang it! I haven't done much in Rocket League since I just uh, went for uh, casuals, like I always do. <laughs> Thanks for being here, everybody. Let me raise the volume. Sweats nowadays, absolutely, yeah. I'm doing a double um, stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, so bear with me if you don't know what's happening. <laughs> Because I don't know what's happening. Mayra! Bienvenida. Pues como le va. Razzi! I was going to ask you. I'm just saying we're going to stream. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to post the link though. Thanks everybody for being here. I'm gonna put the link real quick. Oh no. What? What the frick? My mouse disappeared. Oh, there we go. 
Súper bien. En realidad fue un, unos días medio, 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 medio malos. Pero, pero, tenemos el stream, tenemos la gente que se preocupa, la gente que quiere y por ellos estamos y por ellos seguimos. I will always be here or stop. Or stop by. I'm not sleeping. Oh, or stop by. <laughs> ah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I gotta go, but I will try to join next stream, but I can stay for like 10 minutes. Ah, thank you. Thank you for being here. I'll try to go for like two hours tops. This is not gonna be a very, very long stream. Thanks, uh. <laughs> Thanks, Ratsy. Gracias. Me siento que estoy siendo medio downer estos últimos días. Pero es lo que hacemos. Pero va a pasar. So, you gonna... know. And well. Oh no, this is not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Orbit, welcome. How you doing? going on what if I just center this then and then just center to the screen yeah that seems about right it's all good it's all good if I don't read your chat or if I miss someone just repeat um, I won't count that as a spam <laughs> I am trying to do Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Siempre de malo, pero no te preocupes, buenas amigos, para ayudarte a superarlos. Gracias. De verdad, gracias. Uh, significa mucho. I will leave a like. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry, it's, this is a, still a little bit overwhelming. Overwhelming because I'm doing Twitch and YouTube and this chat isn't the best that I have but we're working it out we'll see how it goes I got apps for free? yeah me too man I had it on the Epic Games because it was free on the Epic Games and now it's free on the PlayStation there's a lot of games. Take, it will take them some time to get used to. Yeah, I see. Uh, Speak is still struggling with that. I have seven people. I have seven people, almost eight. And I haven't even posted my link yet. <laughs> Thanks for the love, everybody. I'm only gonna post the YouTube link because of reasons. I'm not even gonna add everybody. Just like that. Bear with me, everyone. All right. It is our love. Play at home is the best. Absolutely, it is. I wish I had the VR though. There's a lot of games there that I really want to play, but they're exclusive for VR, like um, the Paper Beasts and the 
the other one, uh, the one with the mouse. What is this game? This is a kind of a point and click type of game. This is probably the first game I ever beaten. This is a remaster of that game. It was on the PC. I played this on the 90s for you to have an idea. And this is our remaster. Galaxy, welcome! Welcome! How you doing? My knee really hurts. <laughs> I'm having a Caribbean coffee tonight. Which is basically an Irish coffee, but instead of whiskey, it's rum. Don't worry, I'm not gonna go crazy tonight, so... No worry about it. Haven't you played this on your channel like four times? <laughs> Daryl! Hello there, man. Yes, I just wanted to be like a chill stream. With like a game that I know what's gonna happen, that I can... See everything that's gonna happen, and just... Take it slow, explain, and stuff like that. You can't have that coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I miss uh, any messages, just repeat, please. I'm still getting used to a restream. But nothing can be cold coffee. Yeah, I'm having a cold too. I'm not. I'm not drinking it. This is like almost frozen coffee with uh, some rum in it. Just a little bit. Not. Not going crazy tonight. Could have sworn I just seen you. <laughs> I wish I could have all the chats here, but I can't. So I'm gonna focus on the YouTube one and have the Twitch one on the side. I think that's for the best. Just make coffee and put in a jug and then in the fridge. And then I can have coffee for school. Yeah, that's amazing. All right. Let's do this. What's happening? I like Twitch better. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being here, man. I'm gonna look at how the things are going. To be pathless. Uh, all right. Oh, each day. All right, again. Thanks everybody for being here. You guys are awesome. Bonus new game options. How to play? I know how to play. Controls, settings, remastered, classic. Oh, you can switch between the classic and oh, we're gonna play the remaster either the more. It's gonna be easier on the eyes for you guys. The classic is just sorry. The classic is just pixelated. I read to it with VC and I can't get it in a car anymore. Oh, I like YouTube because it doesn't lag as much. Yeah, it doesn't lag. Yeah, uh, because uh, Twitch does require a little bit more of a graphic from the computer of the phone. I don't know why it happens, but it happens. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, the master game settings. Subtitles so on. Text languages, voice languages. Cross save. What is this? I don't know what is this. 
I agree with Joseph. Yeah. I rather watch on if I'm on the on my phone, I rather watch uh, YouTube. If I'm on the computer, I rather watch Twitch. The master gameplay? No cap, it's like every second for me. <laughs> every two minutes, yeah, it happens. It used to happen to me too. Alright, let me know if the music or the voices are too low. We're gonna start to play it now. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. <laughs> I love this game. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah, when I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and, and trouble. trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, sir. Running lads to get killed, yeah. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Like someone from a movie, uh, <laughs> I'm sure I remember. Yeah. This song is highly copyrighted. Now there go some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. But I don't care. It fucking bangs. Let me bang, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, Kifu, welcome, man. Oh, yeah, you are, man. That seems some good, man, to their knees. Just feels like a cold for you. That's that's amazing because it didn't get you that badly. So that's good. Hope you recover soon, man. Dun, 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 
dun 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 dun. Hey Ben. Mm. You know Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something, something big. <laughs> That's like the type of game you play so many times that you know all the dialogue. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm out into the wow. That's terrifying, Joey. What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out. Given time, probably gonna head to the team. Thanks for being here, uh, Orbit. I really appreciate it. But Stay safe and have a great night. Hope to see you soon. Around. But Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> Have a good night, Joey. Thanks for being here, man. Rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your Ah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Mr. This is very late for me too, so <laughs> no problems. Service to you. You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. We have the same time, Rip Joey. <laughs> that does it. I'm gonna. Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent idea. idea. That's Mark Hamill. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan, and if you come to the shareholders' meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. Gargan, boss. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rot Wheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Is he in for hey, a surprise? where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter, As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Orbil, here we come. I know how to play this game. I've touched it enough. Take that. And that. <laughs> and that. Warning. Do not play in or around dumpster. Do not kick dumpster. Do not sleep in dumpster. Usage of this container for disposal of human remains may be a violation of local health ordinances. And that. <laughs> Alright, what happened? Uh, we are the leader of a gang. Of a motorcycle gang. We are kind of broke. And we needed something. 
and there's the president and the vice president of the motorcycle makers of the country and they wanted to do a uh, some sort of a spot commercial so they can be like uh, with a gang and they chose our gang but uh rib burger wanted to force it hey momo welcome how you doing Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Glad to hear you're well. The kickstand. Bobo, welcome. How you doing? No. It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. It's screwed shut. I prefer doors anyway. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Watching the show with my boyfriend. <laughs> nice. Thanks for being here. Hope you're doing well. your door it was sticky look I don't want no trouble just leave me out of this mess best friend yeah probably wink wink I've never liked nose rings me neither but someone dared me I've never liked nose rings me neither but someone dared me Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, he's challenging what us. What do you have? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. Anybody here like want something? nose rings? I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. You gonna order something? No. Alright. This is one of the reasons you don't use nose rings. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <laughs> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole, Gantz? I'd better get moving. I'd better get moving. I've got nothing to say. Hmm, no. I'm not putting my lips on that. Ah, booze. Can't. Gotta ride. And yes, they are painful indeed. So, what? Oh no, that wasn't. This is the button.
but they try. Oh dang, that sounds painful. <laughs> Momo. Hey, ain't you the A number one pole cat honcho? Yeah. Yeah. And you're in their way. You're in my way. Well get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Oh no, I lost. <laughs> I kept switching between weapons, weapons between. There we go. They said something about killing you and making it look like an accident. That's it, game over. <laughs> So badass. <laughs> Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? What are you? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. 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 Not Mo Mo, just Mo. <laughs> Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Oh, he's posting links. I'm scared. What? The link doesn't work. Not for me. I don't know what's happening. No, it's not working. I don't know why. On my end, at least. Thanks everybody for being here. Dun, dun, dun. Damn it, Latin America. <laughs> I don't know why it's happening. Let's see if I can push it here. Oh, I think I can do it on my... It works on the Twitch side. Jenny O. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, that's that sounds nice. I mean, that looks nice. Um, I'm gonna watch it a wee bit later. A wee bit later. But yeah. Um, let me put this here. Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. <sighs> This is an authorized quality service center. This is an authorized quality service center. <laughs> you could call this a quality service center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate quality operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade quality operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, old we scrubbed hardtail. every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. Aww. So I switched to toasters. Toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Mm-hmm. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? They gamble them on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Okay, I know this. Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. And whatever blows your hair back. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. She's got her hands all over my bike. Jealous? I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> hands on my hog anytime. I'll wait till she's done. She's got her hands all over my bike. Jealous? I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. Hmm. This hose smells like gas. Wish this gas can was full. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. <laughs> but I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Okay, I think that's everything I can do here right now. Let's go outside. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. <laughs> Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Okay, let me see if I can do this. 
there's one thing you can do. There's a little extra thing. When she leaves the paper, you can try to grab it. Some extra dialogue with like no meaning whatsoever. Come on. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, hands off my paper. Really? That was it? I thought it was more than that. <laughs> it's empty. Oh. Hmm, she had wheels. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Alright, this is Melonweed. In this town, I have to get the things to get my bike uh, fixed. We start here, which is uh, a person who stole the welding torch from Mo. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. <laughs> Steel bars in the glass. Steel bars in the glass. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. It's even sadder looking inside. Locked, but flimsy looking. <laughs> Who's out there? I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. Forget hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like... This is important. Not to me, you freaky looking hood. Now fade it. What do you want? Let me in. Ha! Ha ha ha! Good one, punk. I got a guy. I'm about to roll this tin can. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Good. I've been meaning to report a stolen welding torch. <laughs> yeah. You not for a reason, or you just candy gram? That's it. If you don't take off for good, I'll you what? I'll glaze your ugly puss with my welding torch. I mean, my, um, uh, my hairdryer. I'll get out my hairdryer and burn you, so beat it. Get away from my door, you bonehead. Building inspector. No dice. <laughs> you stick around. Got some flowers here. Scram. Hey, dirtbag. Can I use your phone? Beat it. Get a life, you loser. I'm here to look at the art. Nice try. What do I have to do to get rid of you? You stick around long enough and maybe you've won something. Let me in. <laughs> get a lot. Quick. The whole trailer's on fire. Hit the road. What do you want? Hi. I'm from Mobile Manor Magazine. Get your greasy, oily, leather wearing carcass off my property. I gotta go. This is the police. Enough already. You stick around. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Enough already. I gotta go. I take it all back. Now let me in. Beat it. Get away. Don't make me come in there. Give it up. Get up. I'm getting angry. <laughs> Enough already. <laughs> come out here a second. I want to show you something. Beat it. <laughs> what do I have to do to get rid of you? I'm so sorry. This is the police. Okay, now it's repeating. You stick around long enough. But sugar, I won't let it go to my head. My mom. 
Obama's face has dripped down into the Wouldn't look good on my bike. But I'm still chasing Chitlin's whiskey and skirt. No. There's a lockpick there. There's a fridge here. SNL reference, I have no idea. This game was in the the nineties. From the nineties. Shadow Phantom, welcome a man. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Better hustle this back to mode. Mm. Still good. Doing good. That's my welding torch. Hope you're doing well, man. Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, little gas, and we're set. All right, now we have to get the gas. Right when the time being nice. Land shark and the and the and the land shark would say candy gram. And people would open the door and the land shark would eat the person. Oh I think I get it. I think I, I think I understand. <laughs> Where's that from? That what? I'm streaming on both. Twitch and YouTube, but you're talking about uh, SNL? Probably. That's probably what you're asked. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. My ex does, does welding. Sexy little blonde. <laughs> This stream is an interesting thing, it is. Okay, this is the gas tower. You gotta hide. Thanks everybody for being here. Run. 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 Looks like a cartoon is a game, yeah. And this is the remastered version. The original version is all pixelated. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. I think you can switch versions. Yeah, this is the original. It's all pixelated. Looks like I got my kitty with me. What? <laughs> this is how I played it on the computer. Okay, this is a gas tower, the 
cops are up are up stairs stairs uh, up the ladder ah <laughs> what happened and we are going to steal yeah these are the graphics the original graphics gas from them hey who's that down there in the yard it's him get him where dope graphics nice quick you go around the other side and we'll have him cornered where'd he go Dun, 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 dun. No. Let's call on reinforcements. Oh, good. You get this from the gas towel? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Oh, that's how you change it. Forks, forks for the front forks. I don't know how you, how you call it. Maniac Mansion. I haven't. It sounds familiar though. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's from the same devs. It's from Lucas Arts. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played it, but yeah, it is from the same devs. The artwork is similar. The letters are the the are the same. Day of the Tentacle. Yes, it's the same. They did Day of the Tentacle. They did. Um, Green Fandango, Full Throttle, and Escape from the Monkey Island, or something like that, I don't remember. And Maniac, Maniac Mansion, I, th uh, I didn't know that, the last one. Yeah, right, this is how you switch between, yeah. <laughs> so the, they have the testicle, tentacle. <laughs> No, Keith, no! Stop! Please! Stop! No! Stop! Stop! It's just like... Manny. Them tentacles. <laughs> it's hentai. It's always hentai. No, I'm just kidding. I need to get that day of the tentacle. I haven't played it yet. Um, I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna leak her. I was gonna talk to her. Whoa. Yeah, Ben? How's it look? Well, basically, what you got here is a unicycle. <laughs> All we need is some new forks, and I can fix it. <laughs> a unicycle. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. What's the problem? Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Get your testicles off me. <laughs> Do you have the testicles? Damn. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. That one changed. Okay, this is the remaster graphics you can see is um, 16, nice it's widescreen. Then I switch to the original, it's like squared. The faces.
junkyard. We need to see marine in something more flattering than coveralls. <laughs> Just got a nice b <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Coveralls. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh yeah, I knocked him out. Open up, Todd. This is a remaster. This is original. The OG. Oh no, 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 no. Don't get. Razzi! You just want to see some cartoon, but <laughs> just go watch them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, when you push this down. So, we have a solution for this. Ah, uh, junk. Since Gantz <laughs> right a uh, Oh my cat is calling me. Real quick I will um, take like one minute to let her out of the room. I'm back. <laughs> Didn't take too long. Why is the school on fire? Because of reasons. Because that's their logo, I think. That was part of the logo. Because the 90s, yes. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Because if you want to be metal, you had to be like a. What's it called? What, what, what was it called? Rider? Night Rider? Something like that. Reasons, got it. <laughs> you can clearly see forks there. But yeah, no, no. Let's go for this. Cars. No thank you. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Cars, no thank you. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. I'm pretty sure it was. And the memory is not reliable. <laughs> See, they look like the man on the cover. <laughs> Damien Hughes! <laughs> Probably, I wanted to all my life. Thank you. <laughs> Bad dog. 
Wait, your bio? I forgot about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my lord. I am so sorry. <laughs> How you doing, man? Okay. You can't go there. Because if you go there, you lose... You, well, now you lose. The, the dog starts chasing you. It's all good. Miss you. Yeah, absolutely. Miss you too, man. We had some nice conversations on other streams with you and Steven M. I remember. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. I really do. Since 55, dude. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I think you came in with the, the same day that Jags came in. I think. I'm not sure. And... Oh, I messed up. We popped in together, yeah. That one ill tempered mongrel. I remember he did a dono that day. I was playing like Rocket League or something. <laughs> First two digit dono I had. It was like, oh no, man. Thank you. Here, Poochie Pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, man. Sadik, Night of Force tomorrow. Tomorrow is. Yes! Absolutely! Just tell me the, the, the time, your time, and. We are, we, 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 we can do it. Just do it! Just do it! Also, hey, Kiwi! <laughs> I'm trying restream, I'm doing Twitch and YouTube. seen him around that much. I ban him. <laughs> well, you can't. Just the kind of forks I need right on top. <clears throat> nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish your Knives and spoons. Working on a surprise. Working on a surprise. Yes, All I right, hate surprises. here she comes. I do hate surprises too. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? <laughs> oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. She means nitro. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? 
You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. A game you might enjoy? Ooh, let me know. Among the sleep. It sounds familiar. We'll check it out. The cops. All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking. They were key with a teddy bear. Ooh, has an, has nice ratings. That's nice. We'll definitely look it up. Ooh, survival horror. Let's I I don't know. <laughs> but we'll definitely look it up. Thanks for the recommendation. Alright, there's cops there and I can't go back here. Nah. I've already said my goodbyes. So how do I Stop. Okay, now we're back. Gotta get to bed. No, you know it. Thanks, Keith, for being here, man. Thanks for uh, hyping up the chat. <laughs> All the love, man. And stay safe. Have a great night. Also, yeah, uh, Kiwi, uh, hit me up before the um, the times or the hours that you want to do uh, Fortnite. That'll be good. I'm up for it. It's not that bad. Archie puzzle game with a small horror elements. Ha! Ah. See? Now we're talking. <laughs> and... Yeah. A way to attract the cops. It should make sound the alarm. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units follow me. Run. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I had a tank full When she <laughs> blew my gasket I surely was thankful <laughs> Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man I gotcha Now do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road?
Corley. Corley. Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. Minivans! <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. Do you have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? <coughs> Maureen? until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. I'm gonna get some sleep really. Ah, thanks, man. Thanks for being here. Who does this guy work for? I really appreciate it. Holy motors. Hope you have a great, great sleep and you can rest well, my man. What's that moving over there by that pile? I All the love know, to you. But I think that pile is bullets. <sighs> yes. Now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I'd be there. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Moe said she didn't have a camera. Here's Moe's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. But I like the stream. <laughs> Thank you, man. Let's me, let's me. Da, 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 da. What is this? Okay, that's there we go. Go. I don't walk. I don't walk. No, you levitate, right? Come on. <laughs> Might have. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. And we're going to the other side. Thanks everybody for being here. Okay, 
Let's go on the back of the floor. Hey! Over here! Hey! Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's dank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So a you don't later. have any pictures? Well, I hey. tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. Wow. She got my a lot of them. is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. <laughs> if Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Take that. Quit it! And that. Quit it! Hmm. Oh, Ms. Wood. Go away! You're blowing my cover! I've touched it enough. Alright. What is this? There's a big truck here. This sucker is mine. Lola Cola. Hey, killer. What? Killer. Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck savagely and without mercy police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the polecats no no with the exception of their leader who is still at large roadblocks have been set up along highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal we've been set up we've been set up Real exactly <laughs> I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Just lay low, man. <laughs> it's very interesting. Like, the plot thickens. This is Lucas Arts. Like, the George Lucas has something to do with this. I've never liked nose rings. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. He doesn't look happy. He's got a knife. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna One. happen. Let me show you how to do that. Two. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Three. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Four. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Five. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Six. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Seven. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Eight. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it'll show you. Oh, yeah. Oh, the first one. Yeah, that's ten times. Mm -hmm. Let's play a mini game. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
<laughs> Buggers Sam Hammy Welcome. Oh yeah, you sure are good at that, buddy. You're pathetic. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Am I distracting you? <laughs> the face it mates. Your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. Get They're lost. Not anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers. They turned me around. Said police business only. Pigs. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> I'm just about to. For the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett. I'm gonna be napping up your table for a while, all right? <clears throat> the customer with the knife is always right. <laughs> the customer with the knife, it's always right. That's great policy right there. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quoho. I need to get to this place. Uncle beats me, Grinch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. How poetic. Here. Fake ID. Fake federal investigator ID could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the bed. Jump. Check it out. Check huh? it out. What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you will get your man. <laughs> it worked. Hmm. Stop moving. Hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Gotta hit the road, you know. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Trucker's gonna die for what he did. Won't work without a fuel line. Bargain. The barn's locked. All right. Hmm. 
A tire iron, okay. Tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. Tire iron. Junk and a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? That's Mo! <laughs> she took my booster fuel. Uh, why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. That does it. He's dead. The cave is a cult, a uh, motorcycle gang cult. They hijack trucks. Just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. All right. Let's grab a little bit of fertilizer because this part is kind of uh, slow, but not that slow. Maybe I'll just take a look. Then I'm just reading things. We have to use all of these things to our advantage because we're gonna get chased. Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. But first, we're going to the other place. What a mess. No, let's just go back. Let's go back to the Uncle Pete. And... We're gonna see Bolus and Nestor. Mine road. You can go through little ends here that will lead towards some biker fights, which will get you to get weapons. 
and one of them will help you progress. Or like two of them. <laughs> Look at him run. If you stay in the middle, you hear you hear the sound of a little thumping. So we're gonna make them crash. <laughs> Boss, it was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to know. Muy buenas, se tenía a dormir porque está viejita. <laughs> está vieja. ¿Qué pasó en la noche? Muy buenas noches, Ratsy. Muchísimas gracias por estar aquí. Que tengas, tengas, tengas muy dulces sueños. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Chuleta. <laughs> Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. Señores con los angelitos, sí. One of the gorgeous many casualties. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. Someone jumped. Someone jumped. The gorge. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Puyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the flying torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. All right. Hover lift we can get from a hover car. And there's a car that is a hover car that is crashed. How convenient. Enter the mine road. We're gonna have a one tutorial um, talk for the lore of this mine road, and we're trying to exhaust all the text. Because if we don't do that, we will find him again and again and again until we exhaust all the text. Father Jordan. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? 
Well, retirement's pretty boring, man. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tort, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. <laughs> They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, man. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Sorry, I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cave fish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Where is the cave fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. Somewhere on this the road. The entrance is totally invisible, unless you got those weird cave fish specs. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. <laughs> no, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Give him hell, Polecat. All right. Now we start our fights. Loser. Slack jawed sissy. You crap, you shoving bull. All right, we got the chain, we got a little chain. This one is a rod wheeler. Did I lose the chain? Okay, this is a vulture. Who's the most important thing to defend? Exactly. Oh, right. Say there, is that a re regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes, it is. Ta da! This one you can't fight the first time you meet him. You have to use the chain to get him. Oh, my God. 
No, I can't do that. I can't win, uh, I can't win that one yet. I have to get a one special weapon before I can get that uh, plank. And I think this is the one? Probably. I'm not sure. Nope. There we go. That should have a couple of good boosts left in it. Okay, we got the boost. We got the nitro. Nitro? That's one of the things we needed. We need the ramp. Oh, she doesn't give us anything. Wow, are you really a polecat? Yes, I am. Well, I hate polecats. <laughs> Bet you just took a trip. <laughs> Learn to ride. <laughs> she doesn't give you anything. I think we're gonna face a cave fish now. I think. Just for process of elimination. Nope. Oh, this is the one. We get the special weapon. Nice. Yes. And we get the plank now. No talking. No time for talking. And with the plank, we can hit the cave fish. That's the only weapon that's effective on the cave fish. But you gotta time it right. Not, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> Por ahora le le matamos a todo. <laughs> Con el, la sierra eléctrica hasta encontrar un nuevo cavefish. Si usas la sierra con los cavefish, ellos se eh, autodestruyen antes que puedas sacarle las cosas. No! Come on! Gassi. <laughs> Cuando le encuentro el Kingfish voy a cambiar al, al clásico solo para ver si hay alguna diferencia. Okay. 
<ríe> el clásico. There we go. Let's use them. On the left it says it says exit. Yes, yeah. We have to find it when it says cavefish. Like bottom down bottom left. Usually after an exit, you can find the... Nope, alright. The cavefish hideout. Go back to the This is the remastered. It's so different. See they guide themselves with the little dots on the street. I think this is the one. Exit. Cave. There we go. They're here. Keep going. Let's keep going. That's the ramp. Pick up the ramp. All right. Remember that when we said that they they guide themselves with the little dots. So, if we remove the dots, they cannot follow us. <laughs> I'm done with these boys. So we have the ramp, we have the nitro or the boost. That was good. <laughs> yeah. The ramp, the boost, we have the hoverlift, hovercraft thingy. And 
That's it. We can jump. It's a single hoverlift unit. Looks okay for an aftermarket part. Oh, I didn't put it in. Okay. Alright. I've modified my bike enough. That was pretty badass. You did it! <laughs> exactly. Let's go to the Corley Motors. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. No. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Hey, open up. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. <laughs> Alright. So, this is a stadium. This is the motorcycle uh, headquarters. Let's go Someone to this stadium area. We got your hats. We got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. Drive your own derby car by... Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let you see here. One hundred percent cotton. Oh, Don't tell anyone. Uh, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. I'm allergic. Well, come with batteries included. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. We got your t-shirts here. Shelter, shelter. <laughs> sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. All sizes and colors. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great. You'll be keeping cold and looking bold. It's out of batteries. It's out of juice. Uh, you, big fella, come give our derby car a spin. Okay, we have to do this. This is another way we can go. This is the vultures territory. There's the vultures hideout on the other side of this field. I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I guess it's all true. That's a minefield. Hmm. Those weapons were out of weight. You left the little bunny. Don't worry, the bunny is a toy bunny.
That's a battery. Hey YouTube, I'm still here. <laughs> Sometimes it says no no viewers. Okay, we got the battery in the most spectacular way. Like how do you remove a battery? Let's take the toy to a minefield and make it explode so you can have the battery. Why do we want the battery though? Because we need to make the... Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. The car work. Bunny, so they'll shut up on the long drive. That should put some life into it. Why we should make this? Because... Uh, sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Hey, don't go in there. So we can distract him. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Why do we need... Daddy's coming. Why do we need to do this? Now it's just me and the bunnies. To grab the bunnies. The vulture's hideout. Maureen Mo is one vulture. She is one of the vultures. We need to get to her. I have to pick them up before they all blow up. to do this so we can make our way towards the minefield have to do this again if we, I don't get it. There we go. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah, that's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures, rack them up. Let's rip them quick. Listen, Mo, you're making a big mistake. Oh, God, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> Let me go or else. Let me go or else. Or else what? I call you names. I'll call 
like Diaper Dynamo. Diaper Dynamo. How did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I, I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still Cass, have welcome. How you doing? Hey. This is called Full Throttle. It was Sorry. released on the 90s. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get this is a remaster for the PS4 and PC. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Faking ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on a it's a point and click <laughs> attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Um, uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question <laughs> I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> That's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your Long story short, we are a leader of a gang that has been framed for killing the leader, the president of the motorcycle company. And his daughter was the right... Um, Heir to that, and I think, yeah, and we're helping her get get there. This war of mine. Oh, that's nice. I haven't played it. That's one on, on my list. I will play it. The girl with the yellow hair. This one, yeah. Doreen Schmorley. The Boom Boom Brothers. Yo, let me go. What are you doing? Get over here and nail me. Get over here and nail me. No pun intended.
What the heck? This wasn't this way before. I don't know why this is following me. All right. That car stalled when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Oh. Sorry about all the noise, people. I have to take this this way. No, it's working again. Good grief. There we go, again. Here, here. And here. Right. Brothers, it's all over. Get him. What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? <sighs> Idiots. Okay, Mo. Time for our big finale. Do it. <laughs> He's still going. Man, quit clowning around and make a diversion. I am a diversion. No offense, but we need a bigger one. The bike is guarded. Who cares about the bike? Mo says it's important, so we're not leaving without it. All right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. Burning both ends. <laughs> For your lives. Finally. Run. Squish that fire for his heart. Look at him run.
you get him? Finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm, funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Oh, dang. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike, but I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. <laughs> hmm. What's in the safe that's so important? My Dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Uh, how do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff and I landed in a minefield. But other than <laughs> that, it was fine. How do it's I find fine. the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. And if I line up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. What if I can't find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. That kicking part is pretty vague. Look, I was only six. Give me a break. I'll never find that secret message. <laughs> hey, man, can't you see I'm busy? If I could find the spot to kick when I was only six, I'm sure you can find it on your own. I'll never find that secret passage. Hey, Ben, if I could, I'm sure you... I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. <laughs> wow. Great, I'll Sassy. find that key. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. Hey, this baby's flying days are over, just like mine. Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? I'll see what I can do. Right. Let's see the parts. Hmm. 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 I don't remember which one it was. It was only numbers. It was, I think it was this one. But I'm not sure. So... Alright. And, yeah. Here, I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. The pictures. We gotta get to the back of the factory. And the meters are black.
There we go. Very austere. No drawers. Furniture moving? No. Oh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six number code. Let me remember. These are not numbers. Five numbers. Yeah. 154492. This. 15. 40. 4. 92. There's uh, some sort of card. A tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. It's empty. All right. Some sort of card. I don't want to set off any alarms. This is the card. Cool. Looks like the meeting started. Was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected, Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. <laughs> Yo, welcome back, Jack Jackson. Hmm. So, we have to create a diversion. What you see before you right now is my vision for you. Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> You know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote <laughs> about a... Uh, uh, I... Oh, it was the vice president who killed him, who killed the president, and he framed us. Well, I'm out of ideas. That's, that's known. That's not a spoiler. At this point. All right, we have the pictures and we have the tape. The tape has a recording of a, the president's wheel. The real issue here is now. This next picture shows our new, more aggressive photos. corporate strategy. I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripper. Rip, Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh. 
I let that man talk me into far too many things, like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me and that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that, Tate, from one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. Near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where do you hobble off to? Uh-oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Picked up a truck and he left. Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Run. showed up to help us <laughs> and then you go business suit shopping don't remind me don't complain you're going to be rich at this point i settle for just a little peace and quiet peace and quiet they cannot catch a break can they Oh, she's back. The panel, the control, the dashboard. Thing. From the cockpit. Mm. Die. 
It's not working. Oh, it probably only works on the YouTube side. Sorry. <laughs> so much for the controls. Only on the YouTube side. I'm sorry. Uh, take off. Uh, please take off. No. No. Gear. Uh, base gear. Different world. <laughs> Hello from the purple side. <laughs> ben, Ben, are you alive? I am, but I don't know about Ripburger. I can see him. He's out cold. Climb back here quick. <laughs> Can't break a Corley. Can't beat a Corley. Well, my answer's that. Let's go. This part is kind of timed, I think. Everybody's just leaving. Wait. No, 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 I never lost in this part. Hmm. Let me try that again. Rip. Well, I have to go. I have to enjoy the game. Thank you. It's about to end. It's got like 10 minutes tops. Thanks for being here, Mayra. Gracias, gracias por estar. Que tengas muy buen descanso. Just go! It's funny that if you go running, you die. What you have to do here is to pick up the... Motorcycle. But it's obviously faster. <laughs> that was only for that scene, that moment. Life was a game to him, and he played it by his own rules. He was. Mystery to most of us, and yet an inspiration to us all. He gave us freedom, he gave us power, he gave us wings, he gave us wheels. 
Thank you, Malcolm Corley. For giving us a dream that will never die. So. So. Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion, and riding around in limos, well, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But, Ben... Oh, just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know. It's all going to change. I told him. <sighs> Look, he is not going to do it. What was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Great. And the game! Memory of Roy Conrad. Roy Conrad, I think that's the voice for Ben. Alright! Thanks everybody for being here, for joining the stream. I can't believe it took me this long to beat the game. I usually beat it in like an hour. But it's amazing that I can just extend a little bit for peeps to enjoy it. But to show a little more about it. It's been a blast. I'm still new to these restreaming thingies. Two hours hype. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. I might do a raid on the Twitch side. Probably. Mark Hamill. Oh, sorry. Great hide, nice. Thanks for being here, man. Alright, thanks everybody for showing up, thanks for all the support, for all the love, you guys are very, very amazing. But yeah. We will raid, let me see, who oh, I got. I think I got Iolution, and this is the only one that I have. And yeah, let's do him. Let's let's trade Aerushin. Then again, thanks for all the love everybody. Thanks for being here, thanks for showing up, thanks for for chatting, for keeping up the hype, keeping up the love, and yeah. I will see you guys in the next one, most likely tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's raid Iolution. He's a great Minecraft streamer, he does give away, he's a very, very, uh, very, very nice person. He's a very, very, very nice, interactive, 
It's like a podcast type of <laughs> game. He does giveaways. Yeah. See you around, peeps. <laughs>